And no mystery on who is up next then, since we only have one team to go. That's going to be Toasty Tank. So Toasty Tank, I think it's uh, Jenna. And I don't know how to say your name, so I'll just say... Uh, Taina. Taina. Thank you very much. So we got Jenna and Taina. All right, we'll wait a couple seconds. It looks like the judges are ready. Liberty, Chris, and Sid. All right, finishing up today, Toasty Tank, when you're ready, Taina and Jenna, take it away. Okay. So this is Toasty Tank. I'm Jenna Matthews. And I'm Taina Diaz. And this is our story. Toasty Tank began through the journey of owning a fish tank in 2019. During January of 2020, a storm hit and the power went out, causing the death of our fishy family, Cyprus and Leo. After this event, we researched only to realize that we only had a few options, being either to invest a considerable amount into a generator, accept the death of our fish every time a storm occurs, or stop owning fish completely. While there are battery-operated air pumps, it was impossible to find any type of technology that maintained all core systems. Since no product existed, we decided to create Toasty Tank so other fish tank owners would not have to face future deaths of their fish, fish any time a crisis occurred. We plan to approach this PowerPoint within the given order. Our mission is to bring fish tank owners a product which allows the fish to continue living a long, healthy life. We value our customers' fish friends and the quality that our product can bring. We dedicate our service to their fish family and in aiding other animals in need. Our product is a battery operated generator for your fish tank and is used to keep your heater, water filter and air pump working. This product is valuable because when a power outage occurs, your fish stay healthy and happy while benefiting the earth from 100% recycled materials. Our primary target market is fish tank owners. We also believe that we can deliver value to pet stores who sell fish and lizards. Our early adopter profile is ethologists because they are highly educated in the study of fish and would be able to confirm that our product is durable and the quality is of value. I'm going to pass it off to Tiana now. Okay. Toasty Tank specific diagram diagraphics include our customers who live in areas who face power outages regularly, such as in areas like Texas, California, and New York. Um, they also have the time and money invested into their fishes and want to ensure their pets' well being um, during these hard times. We recognize that fish tank owners were not, needs were not being met and solved this by adding diversity in size and customization in color. We deliver a longer lasting battery operated generator, which requires no fuel. We differ from our competition since we continue to strive in helping the environment. Back to Tiana now. Within the last two years, the pet market has seen an increase in sales globally by a staggering 6.1%. In 2020, pet owners globally spent a combined uh, total of $216 billion on their pets. In the United States alone, that was $103 billion of those dollars. These numbers are only expected to increase by another 5 to 7% in the years to come. Toasty Tank right now retails for $69.99 online, um, but we have also consigned to sell our products to PetSmart, Petco, and online stores such as Chewy and Amazon for $40, which we expect most of our revenue to stream from these corporations. Um, the product itself costs $15.99 to produce and also to create packaging um, because it's made of 100% recycled materials. And because of the um, recent increases in the pet markets, uh, Toasty Tank is expected, expected to sell 2,000 units online and 780 units um, no, 2,000 2, units in stores and 780 units online in its first years. Overall, its cost is $44,452 to manufacture the 270 units, which will be um, collecting a net revenue of $90,140 before donations. And after donations, that would be $70,619. Um, we'll profit $32,167 for a total profit margin of 41.89%. Um, our product right now is currently in its pre-launch phase and we're expected to spend around $115,000 for our initial product launch on manufacturing costs, staffing, and for rental space. Additionally, we donate 15% of our profit to Animal Legal Defense Fund, which supports animal lives through the legal system by providing resources, opportunities to law students and fighting against animal cruelty. I want to give a shout out to Slides Carnival for providing us this beautiful template for our presentation. Thank you for listening to our presentation.
All right. Thanks, Toasty Tank, for that presentation. Judges, five minutes, question and answer. All right, I'll start. Um, thank you, guys. Thanks, uh, Jenna and Taina. The, um, so just help me understand on the product itself. Um, I'm familiar with a, I guess the UPS an uninterruptible power supply that a lot of people have for their computers and stuff like that. How is this different than that? So the difference is between using a generator and this and why people would want to buy it is because during a power outage, there are no alternatives is the first reason. The second reason is because future on, we do plan on making it solar powered. So it's very similar to basically what you're saying. So it would be eco-friendly, but the difference is we're using recycled materials internally and externally. So both the technology is going to be used from older computers and other things, not necessarily old, but like when people want to upgrade, they get rid of them. So instead of throwing it out and adding to the waste of our community, this is how we reuse everything, including we do packaging as well. So quick follow on. So this is yes. a battery based, at least yeah. for now, you said maybe ideas for solar or something. Mm -hmm. and yeah, later on in the backup. future. And then, and about how long would you expect that the battery would last for the device in a power outage? We aim for it to last if only one socket is being used for roughly a week. If all three sockets are being used, then it would last around three, at most four days. Okay. Can you explain a little bit more on uh, why the fish will die and what the, your product does? Like, is it blowing the bubbles, giving oxygen or keeping the temperature of the water cooler or hot, warmer? Uh, what yeah, does it, do? it keeps the temperature of um, the water while um because if you can't well i think jenna should mainly explain this more she's more um precise on this but really it's to keep the water um warm during the um outages you can go ahead jenna if you have something okay um so what i was gonna say is we're not adding anything to the tank it's an external device where you plug in your already set up systems into it to continue it working so you yeah. don't have to buy another filter it does not come with a filter you already have your filter your heater and your air bubble, air bubble up, and all you do is plug those systems into our system to continue them to work. Yeah, it's basically so they'll be like running a generator, the storm. but it's basically like a generator, but without using oil or any of that. So it's eco friendly, and it would be more so portable, and it would have multiple usages because we're planning to expand it onto lizards since they need three qualities as well, being a heat lamp, a daylight, a nightlight and sometimes a humidifier. So we'd make it a separate alternative with four power outages for them, but that's for our, how we'd expand. I have a question on um, the market analysis that you guys did. Okay. Showed the growth in consumer spend on pets. Do you have a view of what percent of that spend is to your market, fish fish owners? Uh, um, so percent for our market, well, when I was doing research, I mainly saw things for um, dog owners, cat owners, and stuff like that. So a percent of that market that goes to fish owners, also I saw um, in the recent years, more people have been um, tending to buy fish, um, birds, more animals that um, you don't have to take care of like full time. Um, so the market for that right now that I've seen um, was around 10%, 10 to 12%. Um, but I just did it broad for um, pet sales in, in general. Yeah, I do think I do think market size is going to be is going to be a, a bit challenging. And, mm -hmm. you know, your expectations on I think it was like a little less than 3000 units in your first year. Yeah, that's why I had so few units because yeah. the market was so small. Yeah, and that, but that's a lot of people buying fish backup batteries. So, um, you know, I think we'd maybe have to throttle back what your estimates are. And I think you're, um, you're donating 15% of your profits is fantastic. It's a pretty healthy chunk of profits going out the door in the first year where you're still trying to grow. But I think you could certainly use that to, as a part of your marketing. Um, yeah. So that's important. That's why we also wanted in our in the future to expand to the rep into, into the reptile market as well um, to increase the revenue that we're bringing in. Okay. All right, judges, thank you for your questions. And 
Now it's time for deliberation. So here's what's going to happen. Well, first off, thanks to Tang for your presentation. Great job. Thank you guys. Shout out to Neha and Anna as the coaches as well. So thank you for that. VCU students, 